Well now, my Kubota L3010, uh, the glow plug light either stays on, doesn't go off, or while I'm driving it, flashes. Now I spent a lot of time reading and researching what could be the issue. Um, I mean, I could take it to the dealer, uh, but that's expensive. And so what I've come down to, well, the conclusion that I've come to is it's one of these two parts. And I'm going to change both of them because this is about 100 bucks worth of parts and you have to take the dashboard apart uh, in order to change them from what I'm told. So the first one, this is the glow plug relay. And these are, this is, these are OEM uh, Kubota parts that I got from Messix online. Um, I'll leave the part number uh, in the description of the video. And this is the glow plug controller. Um, more than likely, this guy is the culprit from what I've read, but some guys have said that it could be the relay as well. Um, so we're going to change both since we're in there. They're original. This is a 2000 or 2001 L3010, uh, so it's been outside all its life. Um, I'm, I don't know, second, third owner. I'm not the original owner to it, so uh, hasn't really been super well cared for. Um, so I'm trying to fix a few things before we get into the cold season because I use this guy to plow the driveway. So um, these are the parts I'm going to be changing. Um, hopefully show you kind of step by step how you know what I've found and how I've figured out how to change them so normally this light here this is the glow plug light you would turn your key to the first position and see how it went out how fast it went out that's because the uh, I didn't even come on that time that's and I'm not a diesel uh, expert by any means this is the only diesel I've ever owned um, my understanding is that this is uh, warming up the glow plugs and uh, sometimes this light doesn't either either doesn't come on um, or it comes on and stays on doesn't go off um, or while I'm driving it it flashes so um, there's definitely something wrong it has not always done this it's just done it recently um, and I want to figure it out because uh, I don't like having lights flash at me <laughs> all right so so far what you need to get the uh, <clears throat> dash cluster apart um, I've got a 3 8 drive ratchet, a short extension, a 12 millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket, and a Phillips head screwdriver. This here is a 12 millimeter bolt. These are 10 millimeter bolts. Those are Phillips head screws. <clears throat> These, there's another, I'll show you on the other side. These are 12 millimeter bolts. I assume here, and I don't have them because this is an old tractor, I assume they fell out. Um, those were probably Phillips heads as well. So on this side of the tractor, another 12, another 12, and a Phillips head. The other piece I'm taking out of the way that I forgot to mention is the cowl around the steering wheel. That's a 12 millimeter bolt as well. Now you see the cluster is somewhat loose. This side of the dash is almost loose. Let's go to the other side and take those two bolts out. So this, this one's a little tricky to get at from the bottom. Loosen it up and you get it with your hand. And I believe the glow plug controller and relay are right here behind this panel. Alright, so now you can see that's loose. The cluster is loose. Well, we've, got to, we've got to remove the speedometer cable. Um, or I'm sorry, the, t the tachometer, not the speedometer. Uh, the tachometer cable on the back, and this should come out. There's another bolt under here that we'll get at, and then this whole dash assembly will come apart, and you can get at your uh, your, your parts. All right, so the way I'm getting my tack cable off is by sliding this uh, side of the console back, and I can get my hand up behind here and crack the nut loose, and it should come off. Getting it back on would be fun, I'm sure. And hopefully, I don't know if there's a better way to do this. I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a diesel guy, not a Kubota guy. Just kind of going along as I find how to do it. And there we go. Now, now you can see your console is up out of the way here. I'll just tuck that over there. And over here is your, should be your relay. Yep, and your and your glow plug controller. 
So this is your relay, and this is your glow plug controller. Um, I'll figure out what size bolts those are. Um, here you can see, here you can see this is the, the tack cable, but they don't give you a lot of play in it at all. Um, so you have to reach up and unscrew this nut on the back side of this control panel uh, with your hand, and you kind of reach up through here and, and get that. So. Um, kind of tight if you got big hands like me um, So we'll change this here in a second This bolt behind the uh, Tack cluster is also a 12 millimeter bolt I'm gonna take it off and get it out of the way so that I can get my ratchet in here and get onto the uh, Get onto the uh, modules here that I've got to change These bolts are 10 millimeter bolts by the way So we'll kind of slide this guy we can't slide it all the way off because it's got the emergency stop and the ignition switch on it. So we're just going to slide it up here out of the way. And you'll need a small flat blade screwdriver um, to disconnect. Uh, you might, maybe not. Maybe I can get it. Yep, no. If you have trouble, sometimes I find with these connectors, um, you can use a small flat blade to, to disengage it. So now you can see we've got these guys disconnected. We're going to take them out and I'm going to replace, put the two new ones in and we're going to put it back together and, and hope, uh, hopefully that corrects my issues. I don't know if I'll know right away. It may take me a little while to kind of figure it out. It's sporadic. Um, like I said, typically from what I read, it's the control module um, seems to be the biggest offender. Some guys also said it could be the relay. Um, so like I said, I'm going to change both and hopefully that solves my problem. Put our 10 millimeter socket back on. And crack these guys loose. Hopefully, there we go. So as you take these out, you also want to be careful. These are not these are not just studs sitting here. They're actually bolts that go through. So you don't want to lose your bolt. So I actually made a little bit of a mistake. This guy, I believe, is actually the glow plug timer, which I'm not changing, because this is like an $80 or $90 piece, and I didn't really find anybody saying that that was the problem. Um, the backside unit here, I'll show you in a second, is actually, that is the, um, this is the relay here. Um, <clears throat> you can match it up, and unfortunately I goofed, and I told you it was the wrong one. So um, this is the part number here, 16415 dash six five six zero zero and that is the Kubota uh, glow plug relay uh, hopefully you can see that and like I said I'll put links and part numbers in the description that way you guys can if you need them you can get them um, and this is definitely the glow plug controller and you can see here that looks very similar to that and this is Kubota part number 16415-65660 and that is the glow plug controller. All right, so we're gonna go back ahead and disconnect this piece as well because this is the timer, or this is the uh, relay. So just put those aside. So there are two wires on this. Um, these are actually a little different. You'll probably definitely want a flat blade or if you got, maybe you can get it with your finger. Um, so this sits in there like this. The red wire goes to the outside or the left side of the tractor. The black with the white stripe goes to the right or the uh, driver's side of the tractor. Oh, excuse me, passenger side of the tractor. So we're gonna disconnect these guys here there we go, and you can see this is, it's actually, it even says glow plug relay on there, so this is the relay. So we're going to take our new relay right here, Let's see, brandy new, and we're going to orient it the same way the other one was, and we're going to plug the 
positive side back in and the negative side and we're going to plug the control side back in and that has changed that has changed we're going to take our controller here we're going to open that up take our bolt it's a 10 millimeter bolt we'll go through the back side hole here like so set that there we're going to plug the control plug back into the controller and we're going to sit the controller back in its spot we are going to take our other bolt also 10 millimeter and We're going to take our timer and we're going to plug this guy back in and go through the back side again. And snug this guy down. We're going to take our 10 millimeter ratchet and they don't have to be superman tight i just snug them because it's just plastic it'll break you can see we've changed the glow plug controller the glow plug relay and we've left the timer alone um, if i still continue to have problems i'll replace the timer as well uh, but all things indicated that this was probably not the issue it was probably either the controller or the relay so to put this guy back together we're just kind of going to follow the First procedure here. Uh, we're gonna bring our instrument cluster back over and we're gonna get the CAC cable um, into this hole, which is easier said than um, actually before we do that. I lied. We have to get this guy this bezel. into position here. So we're going to replace our 12 millimeter bolt here in the center. We're going to snug that down real quick here. We're going to put our 12 millimeter socket back on. And it doesn't have to be Superman tight. Just snug it. It's just plastic. All right. Now we're going to get our cluster back into place here. And this will be the fun part because you have to get that tack cable. All right, so to get your tack cable back on, this is the trickiest part. <coughs> what I did was I lifted the bezel up. Now, mind you, there's a bolt here. So you have to be real careful, especially if your tractor's old like mine, plastic's brittle. Um, I was able to reach through the back and stick the cable in. And again, they don't give you a lot of play. And I can, I can tighten it down with my fingers back here. So now the instrument cluster is back in. Um, it's gonna be getting the rest of it back together which is going to be a tricky uh, bit of uh, tricky issue here because there is no there's just no easy way to do it now we get that side back under here let's take one of our 12 millimeter bolts over here Take our ratchet over here and come up from the bottom. Your other 12 millimeter bolt, line it up over here. Very gently snug it down. bolts up here All right, put our 
10 mil socket away. Uh, we're going to use our 12 mil one last time here. And that is to put the steering shaft cover on. Uh, we got that lined up in the groove. And unfortunately, because this tractor is very old and the plastics are brittle, it's grumpy. So we'll stick that there. Hopefully, line this up with the hole here. Take our 12 millimeter socket. foot on the clutch. We are going to turn the key. Oh, that worked well. Let's see if she starts. Forgot to put the, forgot to shut the throttle on, push the throttle down. Forgot to put the throttle back. Make sure you do that before you. I had, I had it all the way down here so that I could get the cluster out. So let's try this again. Let's watch that light, uh, just like she's supposed to. Burn like a kitten. All right guys, so that is how you change the glow plug controller and the glow plug relay in a Kubota L3010. Uh, this may work for other models, I don't know. Um, like I said, this is the only tractor that I have. Um, I'm not a Kubota guy, I'm not a diesel guy. Uh, I just kind of figured out how to do it on my own. So hopefully this helps somebody because I didn't see too many videos uh, online about how to do this, so I kind of figured it out on my own. Um, so uh, now we can put it back together and have a, or put the hood back on it and uh, put all my tools away and uh, that'll be that for the night.